okay all right i'm so excited to show you my new uh tear tray wreath kit or tear tray gnome kit that we've developed um okay what you're going to actually get in the kit is you're going to get the fabric which i printed myself and you're going to get the fabric for the brim on the hat now i went ahead and painted these you probably don't need to do that um, but this is what you'll get in your kit okay you'll get the five pieces of wood unpainted which they will come like this this is a smaller version of it can you see that okay let me uh let me see if we can just like hone in on this for you and see if that works okay but you'll get this noom is seven by three okay so you'll get all these pieces and your choice of either the striped or the honeycomb and they'll come like this unpainted okay then what i would what i would have done that i didn't do this time around this was my first time assembling them i would have left them blank and then just taken a permanent marker and gone all around the edges you can stain it you can paint it you can do whatever all right but what i'm going to show you is how easy this kit is now the only thing you're going to need is a marker or paint if you decide and some Aline's tacky glue okay if you all wouldn't mind spreading the love i'd really appreciate it Let's see if we can get this darn lid open uh, come on you can use this or Mod Podge, but the Aline's Tacky Glue really does a better job of holding it. That sucker is really on there. Jeez Louise. Now let's see if we can, as my husband tells me, put a little Vaseline on it before you put the lid on it. Thank you. Hey, Rachel. Rachel, I watched for that post lady today because I knew she wasn't going to be able to get up my driveway and I had all these orders to go out. Oh, we're frozen again, it says. Well, I'm just going to keep going. If it keeps happening, I'll uh, go out and come back in again. All right. So what I do is I just take a paintbrush, Dollar Tree. I love their makeup brushes. They're really cool. Okay, so what we're going to start doing is we're going to start with, let's do this one. All right. I already have the pieces cut out. When you get your kit, You'll actually turn your um, fabric over, trace it, and cut it out. There's enough to do the body, which is here, and the hat. And then you have enough for the brim on the hat also. All right, so I already pre-cut. So, well, I could go back out and come back in again and see if that helps. We're having internet issues, Levon. Levon gave me a great tip on saran wrap, uh, adhering it to the wood, unpainted, but for some reason I could not get it to work. So we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. All right. So basically, I'm just putting this Aline's tacky glue on here. So like I said, all you'll need is a marker and some tacky glue this is one of the the new items that have come off our CNC machine that we just got last week my husband's getting really good at it so 
rest that in there. Then we'll put this on top of here. I made it a little bit bigger. So when I'm done, I can uh, trim it. I'm just using this to spread. Now I would let it sit overnight. Okay, well, I wondered if it, Levon, if it had to do with the fabric type. This is, um, this is a, um, a sublimation fabric. I tried it on the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, cotton, and that seemed to adhere better, so. All right, I'm just going to trim the bottom of this hat because I'm going to be gluing this and I don't want to have to go back and trim it. I have these little fist car scissors that are just awesome for trimming. Or you could pencil it ahead of time and then cut it before you put it on the wood. I kind of like these because these are my embroidery applique scissors and they kind of go with the with the um, outline maybe it's better ahead of time to trim it before you glue it There we go. Might as well go up the whole side. Every scissors I pick up tonight is dull. Just trimming the excess fabric off. Like I said, I think it's better to do ahead of time. Okay. Whoa, that glue is sticking really good. Okay, note to self, trim all fabric before you glue it. Because this Aline's Tacky Glue is really good. Alright, so we've got the hat done. Okay. This is just a matter of, it's like a puzzle. You've got to put it together. Alright, so before I put the hat on the body, I'm going to put the um, piece for the body on. So let's check it and see if we have to do any trimming. Nope. Alright. Sorry, I'm not looking at your comments. Just making sure. Oh, we need it on the bottom. This is again a makeup paintbrush from Dollar Tree. Alright, now we're going to put the bottom on. So first you're going to do the hat and the body. Use a credit card or one of these squeegees 
from your Cricut just to get it to adhere. This tacky glue really grabs the fabric well. All right, then next, you're going to put the hat on top of the noom. I just want to trim this just a little bit. There we go. All right, so for this, you can use some uh, hot glue. So what it does is it gives it like a 3D effect. Okay. Now with this one, I chose my favorite, the leopard print. Okay. So before we put that on, we're going to put the beard on. Now the beard I did, I did two, two um, coatings. Of white paint, just acrylic paint, nothing special. I use like that apple barrel from um, Walmart. Hi, Kathy, welcome. So, we're just gonna put a little hot glue on this and attach this. Now, this is the tear tray gnome that we're working on, okay? And the tear tray gnome comes with its own base. Now we, we redid this so that the hole is not as big as this one. So this will actually sit up in here on your tear tray or your table or wherever, wherever you're going to be putting it. There we go. Hi Lillian, welcome. Alright, so now we're going to put the brim of our hat on. Let's use some of Eileen's for that because really it's just the fabric against the fabric. I don't know if you can see it on this little sample, but on the sample, there's actually a little ridge here. And I just trace the outline of it, just the sides and the bottom, and then just trimmed it. Now for my nose, I'm going to hot glue that to the beard. But I'm going to leave this the color it is. So I'm going to use hot glue for this one. And there you go. We've got our little gnome kit for the tear tray. So it's just a matter of laying all your pieces together. Okay. So you have your choice of the stripes or the honeycomb. And when you buy your kit, you get your unfinished wood, the pieces, which this is a three by seven. You trace, you turn your pieces upside down and trace. Use this as your pattern to cut it out. You're only cutting out the um, hat and the body. And when I place the body on here, I just trimmed from the bottom of the ridge all the way around the bottom. And then just did a curve across. Very simple to do. Now see, we could have done it in this one too with a black brim and the honeycomb body. So you get your choice. This is all printed by me, the fabric. Um, this one here, we can go ahead and do this one. Um, let's make him, let's make him a leprechaun. 
all right and then I'll show you the whole process from start to finish but what I will tell you is this one was one that was developed for a wreath and this one will be 12 inches so this one this kit will cost more because it'll be a, a, a higher a higher piece of wood right now it's seven so there'll be another additional five inches so the wreath kit one will be the size of 12 inches in height Still having problems it's showing a steady stream for me now so just keep watching it and let me know I hate to go back out and come back in again we've had ten and a half inches and it's still snowing so I have a feeling the weather might be playing a role in it I'm really sorry okay so I'm turning my fabric backwards and then I'm turning my design backwards, flipping it, is what I meant to say. Now I need a pen. So we've got this backwards, right? Let me double check on myself again. Yep, okay, here's the top. Here is the head. All right, so black side. Okay, so maybe it stopped. We've had a problem with the internet all of a sudden. It's telling me that I'm having issues. So I'm just letting you know this is my new gnome um, DIY craft kit. All you need is scissors and a lean's tacky glue. If you want to paint it, you can. If you want to just take a magic marker to the edges, you can. You get your um, fabric for your gnome. You have your choice of stripes or the honeycomb. And the new wreath one will be 12 inches. So what we're doing now is I'm showing you from how to do it from the start. There is supposed to be a way that you can use an iron and saran wrap. It may work better with um, it may work better with cotton as opposed to the sublimation fabric that I use. Now let's see, is it just a little too big? It is. All right, so we're going to trim a little bit off of this one. But this is from our new CNC machine. I figured I'd do a gnome first. Hi, Nanny Dot. I turn it around again. Yes, I did. But there is the top of the hat so let's go ahead and put the fabric on all you need are scissors paint if you prefer a permanent marker and some Aline's tacky glue every crafter has that in her in her stash positive I have in the past with the thinner fabric used the Mod Podge 
and it seems to hold up really well even for me outside I've had my um, blockheads outside I'll put a little this on here on the top go that should dry now for the bottom we don't need the whole bottom because it's going to be covered by the um, beard so it looks like up to here so I'd say to the very to the second wisp of his beard is all you'll need Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's why it didn't work for me. Because I did see online they were using the saran wrap idea with paper napkins. So, that may be why. Because that's really thin. My sublimation fabric is really thick, so I'm sure that's why... I was having trouble. And if you're not into wreathing, these gnomes still make great um, door hangers or wall hangers. So you're not just limited to a wreath with them. And they're good for all ages, not just not just adults. I can see children using this. And there should be enough fabric in the kit that if you mess up and put it on backwards, there's enough to make another cut. All right. So let me turn this over and make another line. Because it looks like we got a little trimming to do. So let's just do that now before we put it on the noom. This fabric is a little hard to see the pen on. Hi Carol! Welcome! This is the first DIY kit that I that I'm going to be selling. We made it on our CNC machine. The kit is eleven ninety five for the small gnome. I hope to have a price for the bigger gnome soon. All right. Do I have that right? trim on this foot. There we go. Put some leans on there. I probably should have just left it plain and then after everything dried, do your beard ahead of time. Whatever color you want to do your beard. This is the sample we, we did first. This is the size of the um, Tear tray gnome and the size of the wreath gnome is going to be 12 inches. Don't worry about this up top because it will be covered with the beard, so you're not even going to see it. Okay, I'm going to cover right over it. Now, I see a little bit of this yellow peeking through. So I'm just going to take my marker and go in a little, just so that doesn't show. 
So I said, really all you need is a marker and whatever color you're going to do the beard. So that's really the only thing you need to paint. But this was my first time working with it. So Joe just cut it yesterday and then sanded it this morning. So you won't have any cutting of the wood or sanding of the wood. You'll just get the fabric. So all you need is paint for the beard and the tacky glue. There we go. All right, now because this is wood to wood, hey, how you doing, Sue? I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue to attach it. Got some strings. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put our beard in place. And then we'll put our noom at the top of his hat. I'm just going to fill in that right there. Well, easy correct. And then this goes on top of here. So because it's wood to wood, I'm going to use the hot glue. You guys are freezing down in Florida. You should be so lucky. Man. Now, I see a little here, so I'm going to kind of fill that in with the black marker. Just see a little bit of the white peeking through. There we go. Like I said, my next one, I'm just going to leave it strictly wood and just paint the beard. And then all we have left is his nose. Isn't he cute? Now this would be for a wreath because it doesn't have the notch on the bottom to go into the little stand. So the one for the wreath is going to be 12 inches. Now I can, if I want, go ahead and mount this to here and use it as a tear tray too. So that's still a possibility. So the Bee Gnome is the first kit. You get all the fabric, all custom made by me. You get all the pieces. This is just to show you how many pieces come with it. That is not the correct size. This is the correct size, the three by seven. Now, you could, thank you, dear, sure, I thought I was, I don't know why it went off, we've had some freaky things come doing here, Teresa, and I tried to get on Restream, and still can't, so look, under here, we could go ahead and give him some antlers or some antennae. There's so many things that you can do with this once you get it. You can put glitter on it if you want. Lots of options. So the the standing tear tray gnome, which is three by seven, is the kit is eleven ninety five plus shipping. Once we get the uh, wreath one done, which will be twelve inches, I will give you a price on that one. It will come with the fabric. I make the fabric myself. It's printed. See, this is the way it comes. It comes on a board. Now this is obviously the smaller ones. And there's two sets on a board. So we're actually gonna have to separate these now and put the um, tear tray one on a board and then the bigger 
uh, wreath one on a board. So there's that. I can go ahead and I can do this one in this so those disjoining can see how you put it together. It's basically just piling it on top of each other and using your um, piece as your piece of fabric. This is going to be your pattern. You're just going to turn your piece of wood over and trace. That is your pattern. There we go. We can bring it down to there. Put that over here. My my uh, mat was so yucky. I decided to turn it, and I want to keep this in better shape than the other one. So you just use a pen or a pencil or tracing chalk, whatever you have, to trace it. There's your pattern. Now you just cut. These scissors better. We have more coming. I actually have an egg with chicks coming. We've got carrots coming. A lot of new items. So let's just make sure that we've got this in the proper place. I think it could stand a little trimming right here. Would this be a cute kit for a young, like, school age child too? Grandkids. I mean, it's something the family can do together. There we go. Alright, so there's our hat. And the body. You're going to take up to here. So again, it's just a simple tracing. The notch is so it fits in the um, little base for the tear tray. I hand print the fabric. We ha we cut the gnome on our new CNC machine. I have a lot of new signs to show you too. All right, just a little bit of the leans. Now see with this one. I left it brown. I could take a marker to this and make it black if I want. I can um, use stain. If I wanted to stain the whole thing first, you can do that. But you're going to want to paint your beard whatever color. So remember, that's the beard. So let's put our base on. My husband is very proud of this little guy because he mastered the computer program. So I'm sure when I get go out, I'm going to get asked what they think of it. So you have to tell me what you think of it. All 
All right. So now let's glue the hat to the base. This is just a makeup brush from Dollar Tree. They make great paint brushes. I know LaVon didn't hear me say that. She's the artist in the group. And I know she doesn't use makeup brushes. But I don't want to ruin any of my good camel ones, so. So are you all still with me? And what do you think of the kit? And poor Sue and Levon are freezing down in Florida. I told them they should be here. We'll show them what freezing is about. Alright, so the next is you just place this and glue it on top of that piece. You could go back afterwards too if you wanted and paint that black. <laughs> I knew that would get you. Little piece there, there we go. It's just amazing to watch this machine. You you program all this into a computer and then it just cuts it all on its own. It took them almost two days to put the thing together because it comes in pieces. He's quite proud of it. That's off a little bit. Let's fix that. There we go. And then put our nose there. So you get all the pieces in the fabric. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I knew that would get you. And see, for the one that is specifically designed for the tear tray, it's going to sit up in its base. So you'll be able to put it right on your tear tray. We just cut the hole too big. We had to make an adjustment, so. But that will show you how that will look and it will stand up all by itself. Come on, isn't he cute? So that's the one and there's the other style. And this is the one we're gonna make in 12 inches so it can fit in a wreath. Now I was told that you can use saran wrap to heat press this to the wood, but this sublimation fabric that I use, I think is a little too heavy for that because I tried it and it wouldn't work. So, but wouldn't he be cute with little antlers and little pom-poms as his antennae or some little bees on there, some little buttons. There's so much you could do to that to make it your own. And I can make these in any fabric. So if you want a gnome wreath, uh, the wreath gnome, and you want it in a different fabric, let me know. I'm sure I will be coming out with the um, ladybugs. Okay. Let me just show you some of the signs this weekend. 
My, my shop is absolutely looted. This welcome sign comes in horizontal, vertical, oval, and circle. So they're all in there. We've got pink, purple, and yellow. That was actually designed to match... I thought I had it up here. There's that ribbon that has the um, black stripes on it and the flowers. I know you all saw it, but now I don't know where I put it. Boy, that stinks. Oh well, I'll find it. I'm sure it's in my shop. It's in my Etsy store. Then we have Ladybug Crossing. And Ladybug Crossing comes in oval, circle, or rectangle. So there's three choices there for that one. I do have a matching gnome that is listed that matches this also. Hi, Julie. Hi, little Max. How's my little man? Max, sir. That's one of my puppies that just left a little while back. Then we have new in the bee gnome. We now have be happy and welcome to my hive. So you've got that in three sizes also. It comes in circle, rectangle, or oval. So there is that. Um, what else? The sister sign. That's the one that everybody loves. It has the purple butterflies and flowers and lace. Um, that was just in a sister last year. Um, now it's in mother, grandmother, or aunt. So you have a choice of several styles. Um, that comes in circle and rectangle. This is an 8 inch and then 9 by 7. So there's those also. So what are your thoughts on the new kit? Comes with your fabric. This is the tear tray one. And then this one will be the wreath one that will actually be in 12 inches. So this is how your fabric comes and then you trace it and attach it. So it comes with everything you're going to need except the tacky glue. Yes, they would. Oh, you want to see what else is coming? All right, I'll show you. I listed a lot of primitive signs, okay? This is going to be a new item in my store. It will actually have the sign across the front here. I have a beautiful Americana sign that I will be attaching. It's actually um, my sublimation fabric that will get attached directly to this. It has a little hanger to hang it up. If you want something specific on here, I can custom make whatever you want to go on the front. I don't have a price on these yet, um, but these would be great for a floral arrangement, hanging outside your door, hanging in your kitchen, hanging anywhere. It's got its own hanger. Yeah, it was strictly, um, comes like this. I thought I had another nose out there. It comes with the pieces and the nose, and you paint just the beard, and then you adhere the fabric, and it's like a puzzle. You just put it together. This is just a little sample. The tear tray gnome comes in 3x7, and the wreath one will come in a 12 inch. Right? This one, I think I'm going to do this one, unless we may finish our tear tray, um, since my printer had some issues last week. I had a whole um, Noom tear tray, um, what do you call it, 
ensemble already scheduled to do so we're going to try and do that so I may just use this guy I can actually attach him to that base and I'll use him in my tear tray and I have a lot of new ribbon coming in this is one um, mainly got it for upcoming signs. I'm still waiting on my one order, but look at those colors. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. And I, I have an inside tip that I will be notified when Sam's Club gets their ribbon, so hopefully I'll get there before it gets sold out. So these will be matching upcoming signs. I actually even have this ribbon too that must be in the other room. But it matches. That's the one I ordered. That's the one I'm waiting on. So it will match that. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have anything custom they need coming up? hoping to have this kit listed tomorrow for the little gnome and then hopefully Joe can enlarge the size on the wreath gnome and we can get that cut out and get that listed also. So that's what we got going on coming up. Um, also have the leprechaun gnomes listed. I listed two pages worth of signs yesterday. So make sure you go in and check out my Etsy store. It is loaded with some awesome new items. Does anybody have any questions? Come on, what are your thoughts on this? wreath kit. Nobody has any thoughts on it? <coughs> you could really decorate this any way you want. See? And it's just a matter of layering it. The, the, oh man, the little Easter egg with the two little chicks on it and the carrot we have coming. Oh, they're so cute. So be sure to watch for those. Oh, I know you love gnomes. Max, where you at? Max, or... Can you hear me, Kayla? I started weaning the puppies yesterday. So... Aw, oh, thank you, LaVon. Thank you. That, that'll mean the world to Joe. Because <laughs> he's worked really hard. Yes. This would be awesome for a child, too. Something the parent and the child can do together. And like I said, you don't have to paint anything if you don't want to except the beard. So on this one, the beard is actually part of the hat. But on this one, the beard is separate. There's a little gnome. You can make a whole family of gnomes. And they could do their own thing. You don't have to use the fabric that I have with the kit. You can use your own fabric. Hey, Sue. <laughs> little cutie so watch for this I'm hoping to have this complete tomorrow and like I said our our gnome in the wreath gnome will be 12 inches the tear tray is 7 and don't forget to go check out all our new signs
Is there anything you think you want one of the gnomes to have? Like... I could, I could also put it in as, um, you know, a custom gnome. You can choose whatever fabric you want if there's a decor that you're trying to match. Susan, check this out. We're going to act, I'm actually going to put an Americana sign on this wreath, or on this uh, pot. I have a special fabric that's going to go on here. And then you have this free to put an arrangement in. We could put anything on the front here. What do you think? Don't you just want to pound on it? Anybody else getting any snow? We have ten and a half inches. How much did you get, Susan? We need to send some to Sue and Levon because they're in Florida complaining it's cold. <laughs> They'll get this bag of water in the mail and try and figure out what it is. It was snow when it left. <laughs> Alright, I thank you for joining me. I hope you like this and uh, Looking forward to much, much more. I don't like, I don't like the ones that come that you have to do all this painting for. And I thought this was just so much easier, so much easier. Joy got six inches. Oh wow! Not us. It kept coming and coming. In fact, it's not supposed to stop until tomorrow morning. So. We've got more coming. Aw, oh, thanks, Rachel. And don't forget, Miss Galley, I listed your um your signs. I sent you the link. So they're in there also. All right, I'll see you all on Wednesday. Have a great evening. Stay warm, stay safe, and wear your mask. I don't want any getting sick, okay? All right, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me.